Hi and welcome to our new Boromundi on Air video. Today is our topic the first installation of the Boromundi server. Let's switch to the server. For the Boromundi files, you can download it from the forum or you can call or write an email to your sales assistants for a download link. In our case, we download it from the forum and there we can find an ISO. That ISO we have to mount and there we find our folder BMS 2021. Here we can see the management suite setup, which we have to start. Now the installation of the Baramundi management suite begins. We have to click next, accept our license agreement, click to next, choose our standard installation and there we can select our installation folder. In our case, we install it on C. Click to next, click to next and install it. The installation of the Baramundi management suite was successful. If we click finish, the database manager will be started automatically. In the Baromundi database manager, we have to create a new database, but at first we have to install in our case a new SQL Express installation on the server. You can also use an existing SQL server where you can create your database. So we have to switch to the BMS folder and there we find in the third party folder Microsoft SQL 2017 Express the installation of the SQL server. Here we have to set new SQL server and our installation begins. At first we have to accept the license terms of Microsoft. Click next and there we have the install rules. We can click next, click next. Here we can set our instance for the SQL server. In our case SQL Express is enough. In this option, in the database engine configuration, we can set the mixed mode, which we use. Here we can set a new password for the SA account. And now the installation of the SQL server begins. Now our SQL server is successfully installed. We can close the installation, close the SQL server installation center, close the folder and open our Baramundi database manager. Here we set the point to create new database and click next. Here we have to put our new server inside and our login ID, our password and our database name. Now we create our Baramundi database. Here it is possible to choose between our SQL Express or an existing SQL server. It is also possible to use three login types. In our case, we use the SA type, which we created before. You can also use the Windows authentication or a dedicated SQL user. The last point is that we have to set our database name. In our case, we use BMS. The first step for creating our new database is to enter the required path for the database medium and the log medium. The next step is the internet connectivity. In our case, the Baromundi server has a direct internet connection. We click next. And there is the domain configuration. In our case, our domain is called services.local. Click next. And then the next step is the user configuration. Here we have three types of users. The first one is administrative user. The second one is installation user. And the third one is network user. In our hardening guide in the forum, you can find an explanation which permissions have to set for the users. Now we have to type in the users. Now we have created our users and click to the next button. Here we can set our unlock password. This password will unlock the keyboard and mouse in the Baromundi management suite if you have set it in a deployed shop. Here you can set the automatic installation and update for the BMA. 
even though you can activate your management agent tray icon in the taskbar. Here you can configure the application usage tracking and energy data acquisition. We click to next and there we can configure our download jobs for patch management. You have to configure the start time for the download job to an odd time. In our case, 4 o'clock and 17 minutes. Click to next and here we have to create our dip structure. In our case, we use a folder D dip and a share dip dollar. Click to next. Now we have to configure the settings for the managed software download job and the start time for the download job is an odd time too. Click next. Even though we have to configure the compliance module download job to an odd time. Click next. Now we configure Baramundi patch management. This setting which you see is recommended. You can choose between download mode, download on demand, immediately on availability and automatic download. In the release mode, you have to choose between manual release and automatic release. Now we have to click to next. Here you can set the network devices download job where you have to set the starting time for the download job to an odd time. Click to next. And now we have to set up the maintenance tasks. The tasks you have to activate with the checkboxes on the left side. Click to next. Here you can activate ICMP probing and activate the PXE and the TFTP server. Click to next. And the last step is to activate the database. In our case, we have to activate it for the installed server. Click to next. Now we have to click the button finish and then the database will be created. Now we finished our installation of our first Baramundi server. We created a database and installed an SQL server on the Baramundi server. Now we have to switch to the BMC to finish the configuration of the BMS. Now we are on the Baramundi server and we have to start the Baramundi Management Center. Here we can log in with any user you want and connect to the server. Now we have in the BMC three notifications. The first one is that the server is in the maintenance mode. We can set the server to the operational mode after we fixed the notifications. Here we can click OK. Now we go to the configuration tab. In users and groups we have an asterisk user which we have to delete. Right click on the user and delete. Now the configuration changes after we have restarted the Baramundi server and the management center. But first we have to configure a new user in users and groups. Here we click to new Windows user or group and in our case we use the administrator. Now we click OK and assign a profile to the administrator. Click Apply, OK and now we have to restart the Baramundi server and the management center. Here we can click on the server name and restart the server in the maintenance mode. Close the management center and restart the management center. If the performance of your Baramundi server is good enough, the restart of the services only lasts until one minute. Now we have to change our user to the user we have changed in our security profiles. The next step is to configure our license. For that we go to the tab configuration and go to license configuration. In our case we activate the evaluation license. Now we have a 30-day evaluation license for the B server. Now we have to restart the B server again. And now we restart the server in the operational mode. Close the BMC and restart the BMC. The next step is to configure the AD synchronization. For that we go to the configuration tab and then to the AD synchronization tab. Here we create a new one which is called machine synchronization job. 
we name it machine sync and our source is our AD. In the active directory selection we can find our domains. In our case it's services.local and there we take the OU computers. Select. In the machine synchronization shop we have some settings we can set to. In our case we use the interval to set daily at 12 o'clock. Save the settings and now we execute it. Now we see in the state that the Active Directory synchronization job was successfully finished. We close the machine sync job, close the configuration tab and go to the environment. In the logical group we see our first client which is called service PC1. We open the client and there we can install the management agent. On the right below we can see the Baramundi management agent and the last activity that the Baramundi management agent is installing right now. Now the basic configuration of the BMS was successful. We installed AD Sync, BMA, license and security profiles. If you have any question, you can ask us. Thank you for watching and goodbye.